Hey guys, this is the continuation of the last video where we uh, build a um, couple of endpoints. Um, we build two get endpoints and one post endpoints. As part of this video, we are going to build another endpoint, delete endpoints, and also we are going to resolve this error which we uh, which we have uh, received as part of uh, one of our get endpoints, right? So the custom method which we have written. So if you look at here, uh, the custom method was um, let's go to the controller. The custom method was, uh, was this one, get student by first name. Uh, so here uh, we got this error, right? So, so for this, what is this error? Let's look at this error. The exception is Cowsbase query execution exception. And it says unable to execute query due to the following N1QL errors. No index available on keyspace student that matches your query. Use query index. So as I had already told in the previous section, um, if you are using any custom query which is not part of our um, basic CRUD um, repository, we need to add the support for N1QL and we have to create a primary index on that bucket um, which is uh, um, supported by the Couchbase SDK and which is part of the Spring Data Couchbase. So to add to, to support um, uh, for this N1QL, uh, we need to go to uh, this query pad and uh, write this uh, query create index first name on student first name so now let's execute this query now go ahead and try again see we got the response back right so this error get resolved so um, i'm just repeating the same thing so to add support for n1 ql we have to, we have to create a primary index uh, on that bucket if you have any custom um, uh, derived query or custom methods you have written Okay, so this is one thing. Then again, um, I'm going to create another document um, by using the post. So let's go ahead and create another document. Let's say 0003. Let's say it's Kumar R. This is. Um, uh, series, let's say Dallas or um, let's say yeah, Raymond and we get 200 FK and let's say the data buckets so 003 here we got it so the whatever parameter you inserted all the data whatever data you've inserted it got saved because this now let's go ahead and um, delete one of the document right so let's have an endpoint for delete so let's do student delete let's say delete student this will be void service dot delete so request body will be delete request body student so I'm going to pass the document here so let's see whether we have okay we have this so there is no written okay now let's stop the server now we start it in the earlier session i have already explained you can restart the application in multiple ways you can do a run as our applications which is very convenient for us or you can go to command line and can mm, run as uh, MVN command, MVN Spring Boot call and run, or you can even um, execute that jar which is present inside the target folder. You just build the project and execute the jar. Okay, started Spring Boot, then let's go ahead and delete one of this record. Let's say delete. Got 200. Now let's go. 
click on the data. So 003 is gone, right? So let's create some other 004 and do a insert. Make it 005. Okay. T. Mm, then CD as SFO. 94567 USA. You can give 006 UK. Then from this, now you go to your Couchbase. So, buckets you have a lot of documents got created, right? Right. So now you want to delete some of documents. Let's see. Let's delete the first one, 002. Uh, let's delete the 006. Delete. So status 200. And let's go here and see. 006 is gone. So that's all. So we, we learned here, uh, we built uh, four endpoints. To get endpoints and um, um, one post and one delete endpoints. So that's all uh, for this uh, lesson. Um, so uh, thanks for watching this video and um, stay tuned for the next lessons where we are going to discuss about Apache Kafka. Then we'll have an integration with Spring, Couchbase, and Kafka. So that's all. Thank you so much.